So I now have the leash like looped around my sternum like that. I like to use a long leash for that specific reason. Hi, and as you can see, we're further out in the yard. Good girl. And we're gonna work on something that's gonna really come in handy like when you're leash walking her, like when you're going on a walk, when you're walking on a sidewalk or something. So, four on the floor. Good girl. And you don't have to cue that. I'm just like talking. I'm just telling you that that is what I'm waiting for is all four feet to be on the floor. So, I want her... A lot of trainers will tell you absolutely walk your dog on the right or left side of your body. I don't believe in that. I believe on walking your dog on whatever side is furthest from the traffic. Come on. Or whatever side you like better if there's no cars around. Good girl. So we're just going to start on the right side because that's my dominant side so it really doesn't matter. Hi. Daisy. Hi. Oh, look at what you've got. That's okay. I'm just going to redirect her attention back towards me. Got a little treat in my hand. Good girl. And we will not always use this many treats. We're using this many treats right now because she's just starting to learn. And we want to really encourage that learning with rewards. She saw me drop just a tiny crumb, so I'm going to slide my hand that is full of treats uh-huh, back under your little nosy, because it's the same scent. Look, good girl, I'm going to step her past that spot. Sit. Good girl. Good girl, Daisy. Daisy, let's walk. And so that's okay, I'm just going to ignore the jumping. Because the best way to correct a behavior, I'm going to put the treats away while I untangle her little leg. So I'm going to give slack, good girl, into the leash, and I'm going to encourage her to step over top of it. That way she learns how to naturally untangle herself. Good. Good. Daisy. Good. I like the attention with her name. She does know her name relatively well. Good. Good. <whistles> I like sounds. <whistles> Y'all must whistle. Walk. Good girl. And I'm going to cue verbally for what I want. So because she keeps jumping, the leash keeps getting stuck in between her little front legs. That's okay, though. Good girl. Come on. Notice how slow we're going. We're just kind of de-dawdling around. Good girl. She's still on the same side of my body. She's getting a little bit ahead of me. Daisy. Oh, she looks like she missed a poop. She's just distracted. So I'm going to slide my hand under her face. Hand under face. Good. Hand under face. Good. That way. Good girl. See, you like that sound? Good. And I'm going to lure her back to where she's behind my foot. And ideally, she's facing the same direction as my toes. But we ask for cooperation, not perfection. Good girl. And as soon as she stopped bouncing, that treat went in her mouth. Good. Come on. So we're going to walk past. One of the harder things about working with smaller dogs is sometimes you have to bend down. Good girl. Sit. Beautiful. Sometimes you have to bend down, like bend over to get closer to their nose. And that's fine. It's just kind of painful on the back. Hi, beautiful puppy. She doesn't know it, but I'm breaking treats apart in this pocket. Okay, you may know it with as much attention as you're paying to it. Oh, yes, you do know. She's so smart. She hears those people over there. Come on. That's okay. Lots of energy. I like it. Lots of energy. I like it. That's good puppy. Come on. Good puppy. Good puppy. So you see how she's staying pretty much right beside me? She's bouncy, but that's okay. That's okay. Come on. Come on. I'm going to make a little turn here. That's okay. Until she takes a few steps without jumping. Good. There it is. We took about two and a half steps, two, three steps. Step, steps. All right, come on. Took about two or three steps without her, um, without her jumping with her front feet off the ground. So, I pop the treat in her mouth. Because all I want is 
her to not jump up towards my baited hand. Good, 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 good. So I'm going to stop. You see how she reached the end of that leash there? You're going to hear me use this term a lot. Good. Her turning back towards me. I'm not going to move my hand. Good. She made the choice to like take her front feet off of me. I like that. We like good choices when we're training. Come on, sweetheart. You're going to hear me use the term. Here it is again. So when she's pulling on me, that is pressure. So good girl. When she turns around and releases the tension on that leash, that is her yielding to the pressure that she is creating. And if she is not allowed to pull on me, <laughs> I am not allowed to pull on her. Good. But when tension is created, it has to be released before we can continue. So if she's pulling on you, come on, come on, let's see if she'll do it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good girl. And I'm just gonna kind of let her get distracted. <laughs> not distracted enough. Come on, puppy. She switched sides. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. She went to get on my left side, so I just stopped, and I picked my leash up, and I pulled it out to my left side, which shortens my leash. Good girl. Do you see how she's back on my right side? I'm going to put that treat in her mouth because I want her to stay on the same side. Here in a minute, we'll switch to the left side. That's a good girl. Hi, beautiful. Now, I'm going to bait my left hand. When I say bait it, that means put treats in it. Let's walk. Good girl. Good girl. So I'm going to stop. It's okay. She hears stuff. Good girl. She yielded to that pressure. She came back to me when there was tension on the leash. So whenever there is tension on the leash in a backwards direction, so like if they're pulling on the leash and you're walking behind them and you know like marmaduke situation she's not going to do that because she's tiny but like you know you're struggling and they're like way out in front of you that that should mean stop when a dog feels backward pull on their harness hey so like if it's pulling from this way that means stop if it is pulling in a left or right direction that is a directional cue Come on. My dogs are sensitive enough to directional cues from the leash that I can flip it on either side of their back. Come on. Come on. And that is their left and right directional cue. Daisy, sit. Beautiful. What a good girl. I'm going to flop it back over her back so she doesn't step on it. Come on. So she's jumping. Good girl. Oops, so she's out in front of me. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to lure her back to where she's at my foot. See there? That is a good walking position. That is where I want you when you're on a leash. And right now my leash is kind of long because I'm allowing lots of room for error because she is a baby. Also because she is just learning. going to put her back on the right side. Good girl. Right here. Good girl. And now I'm going to put her on the left side. Just for fun. Good. And you see how I'm luring her behind my foot and then I'm spinning her around. I'm also going to move this leash to the other shoulder is what I'm going to do. Oh, baby. She says, what you doing? She says, what you doing? With a dog any bigger than her, like a dog that's 45 pounds, I do not recommend wrapping your leash around your chest like this because uh, you could break ribs that way. Also, never wrap your leash around your hand because even with a small dog, that can break your knuckles if they take off too fast. So I'm going to lure her behind my left foot. Going nice and slow for her. Put that other front foot on the ground. Yes, there we go. Good baby. Let's walk. Good girl, come on. 
And so you see how she's bouncy. Come on. Oh, she says, what side are we on now? I'll say, what side are we doing? That's okay. Come on. Good. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to ask her to sit. I'm not moving my hand. It is kind of hovering weirdly above her head. Impulse control is important. Good girl. Good girl. And we want at least one full second with her feet on the ground before we give that treat because she'll pop up, land down, pop up, land down, pop up, land down. And if we treat in that land down, she's not understanding that we really want her feet planted firmly on the ground. Okay. I'm just ignoring. Good girl. Just a couple steps. I like that. Come on. Beautiful Daisy. Beautiful. She's so smart. And when I want the other front foot on the ground, I'm just lowering my hand a little bit. Just real quick. Good girl. And so as soon as she pulled her nose away just for a split second, I gave her that treat. That eventually is going to turn into a command called leave it. And that it it's, I love that command. I literally use that command more than any other command, except maybe look at me. Daisy, let's walk. Good girl. Because when you ask a dog, oh, that's so good. When you ask a dog to leave it, that it can be anything. That it can be a squirrel. That it can be good baby. That it can be another dog. That it can be a cat. But when your dog has a good leave it, pick that up because I didn't mean to give it to her and I'm just gonna put my hand over it <laughs> I'm just gonna put my hand over it uh-huh see where'd it go yep come on and I'm just gonna lure her away from it oh, from that spot rather good girl good baby it's okay. so when they're hung like that when their leg is hung always stop always stop there you go there you go, little baby. Well, being able to hold still while on a leash is even more important than being able to walk properly. Good girl. That was really nice. So I'm going to jackpot reward that. She took five or six steps and didn't put her, like pull her front feet up off the ground a single time. So I'm gonna give her like three or three to five treats back to back. Don't give her one big treat when you're jackpot rewarding because a dog doesn't know the difference between one larger treat and one individual treat, like a smaller one. Come on. Good girl. And notice when I want her attention, I get as close to her nose as possible because dogs are a scent oriented animal. Good girl, let's walk. Beautiful. Okay. Good girl. I stopped. She sat down. Good girl. I reward that. Daisy, let's walk. Oh, she went on my right side. That's okay. I'm just going to take her. Good. I'm going to lure her back to my left. When she follows that lure, all four feet are planted on the ground. You may have that treat. Yes, ma'am. Good, let's walk. Good girl. Good. Perfect. That's what. Good girl. I'm gonna walk in a circle. I'm essentially just gonna pivot. So she's gonna walk in a circle around me. 
I'm ignoring this. Her balance is impeccable. Good girl. Get your little footy out of there. Slide my little hand. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. I'm gonna get my hand closer to her face to lead her on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Take it. Good. Good sit, Daisy. Let's walk. And I'm gonna go this way just for fun. Good girl, come on. See, yeah, it's confusing when I just walk in a circle for no reason, huh? Good girl. Whoop. Take it. Whoop. I'm gonna pick it up before she does. That way, the reward is coming from my hand, not the ground. I have like one more treat in my pocket. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. I saw her crossing over to the right side, so I stopped. Good. Good girl. Let's walk. Come on, Daisy. Good girl. I'm going to walk her all the way back up to where we started. Come on. Before I give her this last treat. Good girl. That's it. Take it. Whoop. I'm going to pick it up. Good girl. And now I'm just going to pet her. Because she did good. And that's kind of all we're going to do today. So that... We don't overwork her brain. Never like had a whole bunch of stuff to do during the day. And then, you know, you just get kind of overwhelmed and then you get really tired and then you're going to do that same thing again. You don't really want to. That's how training can be for dogs. So we don't want to overwhelm them. We want to work their brain. We don't want to blow it. Good. Especially with a puppy. See, especially with a little baby. 